That smells so good, it's ridiculous. I almost want to eat the candle. I'm not going to lie. Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you again for coming to another video, just talking about books or games and just having fun. I got to introduce you to my two co-hosts. Now we all remember the Wesley. He likes to be the one of the co-hosts. Huh. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Now our other one. Everybody meet Rusty. Hey, Rusty. Here's our other co-host. My other one decided he wanted to join. Oh. Might have had some sniffing going on there. They love to sit with me while I... Oh, did you guys hear that? That was Wesley. He's trying to make sure everybody knows he's here. <laughs> All right, Moon Called Book Review Giveaway. Thank you so much to everybody who liked, who subscribed, who commented, who liked the Facebook page, who shared the video. It means so much to me that you guys participated. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you guys have been enjoying my videos. And just to see you guys interact is so much fun for me. So just from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Now, the winner of the book giveaway is... Wait a minute. We're going to get back to that later. First, I want to talk about the unplugged box. Now, I know, I know I've done some unboxings, usually been Alcrate. I have decided to step away from Alcrate for a little bit. And I've been seeing a lot about these boxes. I am a huge advocate for mental health. And this box is made to help you be able to read, but not just read, but be able to unplug from everything and also has these fun mental health self self care stuff, which I think is fantastic. So I have done one of their boxes before. It was phenomenal and I wanted to start sharing them with you guys. So let's take a look what's inside. I will be doing another unboxing this week, their special edition book. I think it's called Little Nightmares. So stay tuned for that. What? What? Oh, this box is called Violence probably goes with the Halloween theme. Ooh, black ones. How cool! Ooh, spooky. <laughs> here, here, here. Do you want it? Got it here. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's a pumpkin. How cute is that? Oh, Rusty's done. This is so cute. It's a Sleepy Hollow Bowl. It's a ceramic bowl. Ooh, I can put little candies in here. How cute is this? Oh, it has the little unplugged thing in the back. How cool is that, you guys? Okay. I can't wait to put that up. Uh, I'm hand that off to my sexy man. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I feel about this headband because this kind of stuff creeps me out. But it's Ouija board headband. Let's see how well I can do this. I have no idea how well this looks right now, and it probably looks ridiculous. So, headband. But, not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of Ouija boards. Just gonna get that out there. Do you like Ouija boards? No, he doesn't like Ouija boards. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that one. I think the concept is super cool. Um, I love stretchy headbands, and I just did my hair, so it probably look great in my hair, but I'm not gonna lie, Ouija boards creep me out. Don't mess with that stuff. Next is Pumpkin King Dip Mix. Add contacts of package to one cup vanilla yogurt, then chill for one hour, stir before serving. I may do this. That sounds yummy. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I'll have to take a picture of it, and I'll put it on the Facebook page. How fun is that? Oh. I love these. So does my daughter. Oh, that smells good. What is this? Spooky Spice Creepy Tales Bath Bomb or Shower Steamer. How awesome is that? It's the shape of a pumpkin. I cannot wait to use this. I don't know if I'm going to do it as a bath bomb. Probably a shower steamer. That would be super relaxing. And it smells so good. Oh, cute. 
Oh, okay. This is Midnight Dream Cinnamon Clove and Spice. Another thing I liked about this box is they come with candles. <gasps> that smells so good, it's ridiculous. I almost want to eat the candle. I'm not going to lie. And it's so pretty. Look at it. It's black with glitter. My favorite color. I don't care what you say. Black is a color. I really like that. Look at the cover of that. How cool is that? Oh. Ooh, what's this? Look at this bag. I just love the bag personally because I love Halloween. Unplugged book box, natural, pure, honest, poison, apple, roll on perfume. What? I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I'm not sure. My senses are a little off right now, so could be wrong. But we'll try this again. But how cute is that? Poison apple. And this is Irish Hollow Vanilla Darkness Lip Balm. Oh, I needed lip balm today. I'm so excited. I like this smell. It goes on really smooth. It feels nice. It's called Vanilla Darkness. Mud paper. We know how much I like all the squiggly papers. You know what I really like? Okay, I'm, I prefer the book to be signed. And I did another book box that gave the signature stickers like these. But it was always the same. This one, it, it's kind of cool. It comes with a design. I gotta say it's super cool. Now, they do tell you what kind of book you're getting. Um, they did say this one was going to be a paperback. Let's see if I can open this. Ooh, the violent season. See how, how cool is that? You see how the signature sticker matches it? That's just so cool. I love this color. Early in November, the people in Wolf Ridge are overwhelmed with a hunger for violence. Last fall, Wyatt Green's mother was brutally murdered, adding another name to a long list of November deaths and convincing Wyatt that this yearning isn't morbid urban legend. This November, Wyatt fears the call of violence has spread to her best friend Cash, who also happens to be the boy she can't stop wanting, no matter how much he hurts her. When she starts to pull away from Cash to spend more time with Porter, she learns secrets about both that she can't forget. As the month unwinds, truth about her mother's death becomes begin to emerge from the shadows and Wyatt is faced with a series of hard realities that will make her rethink everything she knows about the town of Wolf Ridge. <laughs> that sounds good. I can't wait to dig into this one. Maybe I'll read it and we'll do a review. This is, I'm, I'm reading this card and I gotta say this is another reason why I love this box. The person who wrote this book, this is their first book. And I'm just going to read a little part of what she put in here. I was grappling with things like personal agency and consent, which I didn't think were being talked about enough in YA novels. I wanted to explore the nuisance of consent that weren't strictly black and white and the struggle people face in romantic relationships when one partner uses the other, other's love as an excuse for hurting them. I hoped to write a story that conveyed the real danger of letting these behaviors go unchecked but also highlighted the positive impacts just one person can have on a survivor's strength and resilience. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I hope that as you read Wyatt's story and explore the dark corners of Wolf Ridge, you know that even though Wyatt often feels alone in her struggle, you are not. If you are someone you know is struggling with dating, domestic, or sexual violence, please know there are resources and help available. This is so dear to my heart, you guys don't even, don't even understand. Um... I've I've been through domestic violence. It's not fun. And the fact that someone would use their first book to try and reach these people, person like myself, I think is huge and amazing and beautiful. Um, I think it's just great. 1-800-799-SAFE. Um, there's also loveandrespect.org, or you can text loveis to 
too, too. If you are going through something like that, that's horrible and I'm sorry. Please know that this author is correct. There is help and you're not alone. You're not the, you're not alone. There are others who have gone through this and you, you can get through it. One thing they do on here, it's called journal prompts. And I think it's super cool. Like this one's journal prompts to conquer inner violence and turmoil. This one is, when was the last time you harshly criticized yourself? Write out the specific negative words you said to yourself and what triggered the criticism. What was going on? Was anyone else around? Were you being fair to yourself? This book box isn't just about the book, but it has, it, it surrounds so much. And I think it's amazing. I love that it takes this amazing thing like a book that is an escape for so many people, but also uses it to give us tools to help our mental, mental health. That's just awesome. And I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for being a part of the video. Before we go, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner of Moon Called. And that is Ellie Donaldson. Thank you so much for participating. And I will be getting this shipped out to you as soon as possible. Again, you guys, please like and subscribe. Hit that little notification button. And I will definitely see you at our next get together. Bye.